Uh, you think? Are you feeling more comfortable about Ty riding yeah. your motorcycle? Oh, yeah. You think it's okay? Yeah. You think he's doing a good job? Yeah. All right, Ty. How do you like riding this motorcycle? Oh man, it's fantastic. Like, yeah. Really, truly really fantastic. This People say it. This motorcycle is so straight. It runs so straight. This dog will hunt. Yeah, it's a it's a Dixie chassis that uh, there's been some tube added to it, and then Jay got it fixed up. Jay's always been a fan of uh, Dixie, mm -hmm. and uh, and I am too. Charlie Brown was a Dixie. Uh, really close to this bike, mm -hmm. uh, out, and they're uh, it's a good rider. Um, tell me about your weekend as a whole. I mean, uh, uh, it, leading up to the win. Right. Well, you know, it, it was. Uh, Mildly frustrating at points, uh, it's such as racing, and um, but it, you know it was but great. You break. Right. Well, so you know we had a little, we got kind of burned down during qualifying. Yep. And, yeah, and I remember I really, that. I was on a really good pass. Uh, yep. Even, even with a bunch of heat and the clutch and everything, and uh, it's just a shame to miss those because I firmly believe it would have been low. I won't, you know, start. Sure. People, yeah. But uh, it, it was. But nothing's hurt but my feelings on that one. And all right. Yeah, I hear you. It buddy. worked out good. But uh, it's been great. You know, got you're great people helping me. Great equipment. Great support. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So. So the final. Opie sort of was out on you. Uh, his bike seemed to be making a lot of power down low. Oh yeah, high gear bike man will do it, you know. And, and the, the track, and HR did a good job, you know, but it's still a challenging track. And uh, the high gear bike really sells there. And Bob, man, he's, he's dangerous. So um, yeah, I mean, I left on him, but then he came by me for sure. He, he had, Bob was on a team pass. His bike run all the way through. I firmly believe he would run the team. And uh, yeah, his, his but it's 1,320 feet. And and you know, what point did you get past it? Uh, right past eight. You know, okay. right about the time he dropped the hole. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's what happened. But uh, right. Uh, I don't think we're. You know, we had a good tune up, and we had a great day. All right, great day. Uh, who do you want to thank? Who? Oh man, I want to thank Maddie. Lehman. Maddie, is he welcome? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I definitely want to thank Jay Turner Racing. Uh, yep. Spevco, man, all the guys uh, at home. Yep. You know, uh, what kind of projects y'all working on there right now? Man, we've got a lot of neat stuff going on. As far as I know, we're building two of the only fully stainless steel chassis, 53 foot double expandable that I know of. Yeah. And, uh, and what, are those, what are they going to be used for? Man, they're trainers. I can't say specifically. There might be some kind of NDA or something, but they're they're really neat. They're trainers. Should make the country a better place. So that feels good. Gotcha. Yeah, man, we got some uh, we got some really neat clients, and uh, you know, with there's uh, there's some neat stuff going on. Any more you can talk about? Or? I don't know. Tag on NDAs and stuff, you know. But, but you know, I hear you. I hear you. They, you know, they spend money with us for uh, hand built okay. quality American product, and uh, so I understand and they want to make the debut. You know, I hear you. I understand yeah. that too. Uh, specially, specially equipment vehicles. Special right? events vehicles Special event and creative vehicles. operations. So we manufacture the yep. unit and, and it, it's truly from the ground up. You know, yep. we get 20 foot lengths of steel. Yep. Uh, that the smart guys figure out. Yep. And then the, the you know the craftsmen they put it together and we build it from the ground up and uh, that's part of the business. The other half is we like to help the client and we take it on the road and we, and we create a tour for them and uh, you know uh, look for success. Because, uh, win win that 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 lasts. I hear you, man. And uh, Maddie, were you concerned when Ty had initially? Not done such a great job on the paint job, but it recovered. Were you at all concerned about that? All right, very good. You had faith. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to her. I called her. I was like, Maddie, I got a decal. And then I changed. I got a little better attitude the next day, and I put some more paint on it. It's got its flaws. Sometimes, it's sometimes got you just now. Sometimes yeah. you got to sleep on it. You wake up, and it's a new day. That's right. It's That's a new right. day. It was tough, but you know, I, I was dead set on fixing it, but with two wins, hey, it's not getting painted. It might get shined on a little bit. It's not getting painted. What's the next race? Uh, Vegas. Oh, yeah. And I, you know, I don't know. Surely they won't run a four wide. That would no, be I don't I doubt it. Yeah. But, yeah, so Las Vegas, then Houston, then we get a little break. 
Oh yeah. Maddie, you going to Vegas? Maybe. <laughs> Don't get in trouble out there. You're not going to get in trouble, are you? No. All right, there you She's go. fairly persuasive. <laughs> oh, I hear you. I hear you. All right, cool. Well, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Maddie, but there you go. Accomplished our goal, which was winning the race. Yep, yep. Which, oh, as a team, you had a great weekend. Yeah, but, which that's what we're here for. I hear you. You know, we're here to win the race. I Mark hear you. Win. Ty's got to win. Randall's got to win. Lyle's got to win. Somebody's got to win. I hear you. You know, that's where. You know. But we brought a new motor here. It had more power than the other motor, which is good. And we made two bad passes in the right lane. Mm -hmm. Two decent passes in the left lane. Had the right lane first round, a little bit conservative. We ran what we thought we were going to run. But Bob put a good one down beside us, and he won. Bob was on his game this weekend. Yeah, but you know we learned a lot. Ty won the race, which was good. I, he's either going to be either in first in the points or close to first, mm -hmm. which is you know. There's two things that we're here for, to win the race and win the championship. Right. And this, it doesn't matter who it is, right. somebody here, we're here to win the race and win the championship. I'm no mathematician, but with Doug going out in the first round, I would think Ty would be in first. I think he is, is probably pretty close, yep. a point or two or whatever. But yep. By missing a race, it actually, you know, we've made ground and we're good with that. And so we're going forward and you know, we're going to run hard. We're going to run harder than we ran before. Mm -hmm. You know, ties my horse to win the championship. There you go. I'm going into R and D mode. All right, very I'm good. Gonna, you know, still not try to not win races, but if there's an option of whether we're going to push or whether we're yeah. going to back up, yeah, we're going to Connie Coletta style. We're going to push. All right, very good. And that's where we're going. His bike seems really consistent. Yeah. Um, it seems to always get down the track and is really straight. I was I watched the final from the tower and it was as straight as it could be. We run, you know, some people think it's positive or some people think it's negative or whatever, but you know, all new parts go through my bike. Mm -hmm. And then they go to the customers after they're proven. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that makes me look better mm -hmm. than them. When they work better yeah. than the other parts, yeah. But then they go to the customers' bikes, yeah. And then we start working on other parts, yeah. And so this weekend was a prime example of that. So he's shining, yeah. And I'm not, yeah. But that information that we're gaining over here is going to filter down sure. over, to, over to here, sure. So it's a win-win. You know, you got to. We race hard, we race smart, and that's how we're gonna, you know, you're not gonna get out there and start running quicker unless you start pushing the envelope. Right. And you gotta be willing to accept the failures yep. that, that come with that. Yep. So that's where we're at, and uh, we won the Gator Nationals. Yeah, 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 man. You know, nobody's ever won the Gator Nationals from the top of your Harley besides Ty Thornton. That's right. So, <laughs> That's what we're doing. That's huge. Yeah. Uh, what was it about the right lane you didn't like? There's a pipe that goes across the track right, right about there. Yeah. And right about where? And, uh, like 200 feet. Okay. Somewhere across there. Right. And it's got unloads the tire. Yeah, it does unload the tire. And there's yep. and it's not you know like it's not like it's the same all the way across the lane. Yeah. And it's not like you can just, oh, I'm just going to drive around it or whatever. Yeah. You either hit it or you don't. Yeah. And, you know, we hit it twice, and the final we missed it. And it, if we'd have hit it, we'd have ran quicker with yeah. our setup for the yeah. final. I mean, I mean, first round. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's strange. It was like, hmm. Phoenix is better than Gainesville. Who knew? Who'd have bet? <laughs> <laughs> and it is. Yeah. But that's the way it is. But we hadn't raced here, and 
eight or nine, maybe ten years. I can't remember. It's been a long time. And then we used to race here all the time. Yeah. With the HCRA and drag bike and Pro Star and yep. whatever. I mean, yep. like we, this was like my, my big trip when I was a kid. Like, oh, we're going to Gainesville. Yeah. You know, we're going to watch Jim McClure and Bob Athena run Pro Comp. Yeah. And then, so we come here, and we, like, we started planning for this when we left Phoenix. Like, we're building on it. Like, oh, we're going to Gainesville. Yeah. We're going to sea level. Like, going to, and this. You know, it's just not the place that we thought we were going, and it's kind of disappointing. And it's, but it is what it is. Yeah. And you know, you know, everybody's got the same situation. You know, nobody's got a different car, hand of cards. Yep. But, I hear you. So we'll uh, we'll come back and try to run better, do a better job. You know, we're glad 20 bikes were here. You know, we need to, the, the class needs to improve a little bit, you know, more consistent, and, but, it, you know, it was the first race for the majority of the racers from the East Coast. Yep. So, it'll get better. Yep. You know, we're glad for to be sure. here. We're glad NHRA has a class. We're glad Mickey Thompson sponsors. Yep. And we're going to go to Las Vegas and start all over again. Maddie says she's not going to get any trouble in Vegas. Do you think that's true? There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> the only way Maddie don't get in trouble is if she don't make it to the winter circle. Uh, <laughs> she was born for the winter circle. Is that not right? <laughs> All right. Well, good job. Great right. team. Thank you. We Maddie, have, we do have a good great job team. again. Uh, we like my my. This is like an understatement how great the team is. Yeah. Who? I, well, let's talk that about that a little more. Who handles most of the tuning calls on that motorcycle? Oh, Rex and Jeremy bounce stuff okay. off each other. Yeah. And Justin. Is and one more on the fuel system and one on the clutch, no, or they both they just sort kinda, of team up? You know, we kind of divide and conquer on the whole program. You okay. Know, like that, my expert, my level of confidence is reading the racetrack and riding the motorcycle. Yep. And I relay that information, and we make calls on that, and then Jeremy and and uh, Rex look at the data and Justin looks at the parts and then good deal Justin says the parts are saying this and y'all do that for the, the whole team pretty the whole much team. all the way through okay yeah. very good so nobody's in charge of any certain bike it's all no, like. we, we usually go where Rex does the calls for Lyle and Randall yeah and Jeremy does it for me and Ty yeah but the computers are linked and they share information and you know they're you know, my bike, Ty's bike, and Randall's bike are all cloned yeah. completely, and we're working to do that to Lyle's, mm -hmm. which is not that easy. It's, it's, it's easy to say, but when you start actually trying to... Sure. But, so we, we've got a lot of information on these, and we're working on a bigger database, which is why I said, well... We're going to work for Ty to win the championship, I'm yeah. going to, and I'm going to go out and try to learn how to go fast. Uh, hey What's up, man? How are you, Tim? I'm fantastic. Um, you feel like uh, Ty's giving your bike a good good ride there? You know, it's hard to be around this when you did it as long as I did and, and had great success. Unfortunately, I really never uh, won the big show, but I won a lot of races and uh, we could kick your butt anytime we showed up and, and uh, I do miss it. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, you know, Jay and, and Dorothy are like family. Ty's been a great friend of Maddie's and myself as well. and. Uh, it's really a tremendous uh, effort that these guys are putting forth, and, and unfortunately, two of our bikes didn't qualify this week. Uh, it's awfully tough, tough but it field. Was a out tough here. field, and uh, great to see 20 bikes show up for an NHRA race. Okay. And this is the first NHRA race at Gainesville where they had Harleys that a Wally was awarded, and Ty got the first one, the 49th. Hey y'all! <laughs> this is the 49th year that they've had this uh, Gator National, so we're very proud to um, have received that and hoping for a tremendous uh, rest of the season. So, when was that motorcycle originally built? I bought my Pro Fuel chassis from Bill Fur uh, Dixie in uh, about '99, and then I think it was about. Uh, 
we were running real good on the pro field bike, so I started building a top wheeler almost immediately, and it took a while because we kind of we were getting very innovative. We went with an inboard style clutch, and a lot of the new ignition stuff was coming, and different clutch management op opportunities. And uh, but I can remember coming back from races, we'd go by Orangeburg and check on the bike, and, and I, um, when I finally got it. Uh, it was a great day, and I, that two years I rode the pro. What year field. was that? <laughs> Give or take. Give or take. Like oh, five-ish. Okay, six. that sounds about right. And um, I saw Chris Streeter this weekend. Yep. It was one of the real thugs back in the pro fuel wars. I, Timmy Kerrigan, Chad yep. Cox. Was Tim here this weekend? No, I oh, saw okay. I saw Timmy up in um, um, right, Valdosta. In Valdosta. Yeah, yeah. He said he's too. coming back. Yeah, that's right. Larry, Larry, you know, built yeah. Timmy a bike. Yeah. Him, but. Anyways, I miss it. I, I, I still feel like I could ride it, but, you know. I think it's great that we got some younger guys coming up, and I'm, I'm very happy to support this crew and uh, feel honored to be with them. Tell me about your new business. We, uh, uh, I sold my Harley dealership almost two years ago and uh, acquired a lake management business, and we do uh, lake management, planting. We have a, a, a big portion of our business is fountains, aeration. We have some bio products. We build a crane boat to service the fountains. Um, got an office in Tampa, one in Palm Beach, and then we're doing a, making a big move into Orlando. But, um, things have been really good. Building's up. The economy's good. Um, the fountain business is good. And you're building some boats too. I build boats, and then kind of the offshoot of the boats have been a backcountry skinny water boat. I'm having a lot of fun with that. My background, believe it or not, is uh, boats. Back in the day, I raced offshore boats. Being a Floridian, I can believe that. I raced offshore boats for almost. I can believe that. Totally believe that. Uh, I I love. Uh, all forms of racing. Yep. One thing that I loved about the drag racing was you get instant results. Yeah. You know in 10 seconds whether you made the right choice or not. Yeah. One of my reasons that I don't want to ride, I, mean, I, I was very, very involved in the building of my bike, the tuning, the riding. You know, you really, you know, to ride these bikes, you got to be one in the bike. And uh, I don't want to just show up and get on the bike and ride. And I just don't have the time or the energy that I used to, to, to put. I used to work. I'd come home ready to go and spend 40 hours to get everything ready to go again. So, you know, just, uh, just the nature of the business. It's come a long way. And I, I, I think uh, there's great hope for the Harleys and the NHRA, and we're you know, looking forward to it. Absolutely. Now, do you still actually own the motorcycle? No, I do not. Okay. Um, I sold the trailer to Jay, yeah. and then he came down, and I gave him all of my stuff, and um, a bunch of motor. I gave him everything. Took my pro fueler, and I had some other stuff. And yeah. Gave him some machinery that I had. And, uh, so I, I have a... Uh, It'd be hard to really evaluate the, the value of what I gave him, but right. I feel like I got enough to get a couple uh, you know, passes in here and there. Yeah, you know where you go. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, you so... Know. You never know. Maybe I'll uh, come back someday, but I don't, know. I don't really think so. All right, well, hey. You guys are spending a little harder than we are, though. Always a pleasure, Leland. Good to see you, bro. Yeah, you man. Too, man.